All right, so what we've done is uh, developed a, a mobile app for the Android operating system in Android Studio, and it heavily employs the Particle Cloud SDK for Android as well as the uh, Particle Device Setup Library for Android. So I have this app up and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK so it starts loading to my um, test phone that I'm using. But the next interesting thing that we have to look at is the Photon itself. So um, right now it's connected to a Wi-Fi network. We're going to hold down the Setup button, if I can get my finger on it, until the blue light starts flashing very quickly. Because what that means is that the Photon has forgotten its Wi-Fi credentials. Okay, good. So the Photon has forgotten its Wi-Fi credentials. Now let's bring up the app, which is loaded. Okay, so we're going to start off by hitting the bottom button, set up new particle device. It's searching for a photon. It found the one that we placed into listening mode. Now it's going to be um, changing actually the phone's Wi-Fi connection and connecting to the soft AP, soft access point that's um, created by the photon when it's in, in listening mode. Okay. So we're going to select our Wi-Fi network, which is that one. And then um, I hope you don't mind if I don't show everybody my Wi-Fi password as much as I would love to. Okay, and so now we can hit connect. Now the interesting thing that's happening would be with the photon. So now we can see that, all right, the Scion light begins to glow in and out slowly and that indicates that the Wi-Fi configuration was successful. Okay, next. We bring back up the app. Okay, it's still waiting for confirmation of internet connectivity and verifying product ownership. Good. Done. Next thing we're going to do here is we are going to log into the particle cloud. And then again, I hope you don't mind if I don't show you my password. So it's going to take one second. Okay, now back to the app. So I have everything loaded up. We're going to hit log into Particle Cloud. Okay, we can see that the um, login did succeed and now we can list the available particle devices. We should expect to see one, and it should be connected to the internet. Okay, so we hit that, and we see we have one device, which has the ID 1A0026, et cetera, and the is connected uh, attribute of that device is true. So, to make a long story short, the app worked, and it was able to, um, set up a new particle device, it was able to log into the particle cloud and list that device back to the user showing that it was connected to the internet.